Uh, next up is Lee Newcomer. Um, eons ago, when I was training as a house officer in internal medicine in Nebraska, um, we had one attending who, on rounds, um, banned the PharmD um, uh, people from speaking when we were rounding. They had, Nebraska had a very early program for doctorates of pharmacy uh, to be clinical and around with us and provide us with information. And so I always wondered why I would pull out a Washington manual and read a single sentence about a drug when I had maybe an expert here who could give me three days worth of lectures on that particular drug and I wasn't allowed to use him. And yes, the, the attending who later became dean was trying to drive us to do the best that we could do, but there are limitations to human capacity. And I don't think he ever recognized that. Either that or he had a lot more capacity than I did, um, which was, was, was true. My point here is that we're going to need help. And um, we can't take the multiple variables that are coming in now from oncology patients about microenvironment, genomics, RNA omics, et cetera, and process uh, those in a human brain. We are going to need computational methods to be able to at least drive us in the direction of then making some more subtle or clinical decisions. And if we can accept that, that's a good thing. But I think we are going to have to do that, and, and I would agree. We haven't talked a lot about the computational part of this here uh, today or, and yesterday, but um, we need methods to know that we are, in fact, using computational methods that are safe and reliable. They are not a drug, but don't we want the same thing that we ask of drugs uh, from those computational black boxes? We'd like to know that when we use it, it will not cause harm. And more importantly, it will help us deliver the best possible care for that particular patient. I think we have structures in clinical trials to validate those computational black boxes. Um, we could run a trial that would validate it just as easily as we could a drug or perhaps even a device. But there are subtle differences, many of which have already been addressed uh, by Lisa, Rich, and others that um, we would need to think those through. The data inputs have to be consistent. Uh, they will have to continue to evolve over time with new knowledge, uh, but those are, those are solvable problems as well. But that framework, uh, it's clear from the conference today, hasn't been defined, and the quicker that we could do it, the better off we would be. So um, I guess if I had one point, let's accept that we need computational method help. That's going to be the only way we can practice medicine in the future, but what we want to do is have a box that we can rely on. And that's possible with the right infrastructure.